question uh, is to all the boys, teenage boys and men out here. Uh, can you raise your hand up? Okay, I'm about to break a bit of bad news and apologies for the heartbreak in advance. How do you feel about the fact that as you move from boyhood to manhood, you're likely to be seen as a threat on the streets? For no real fault of yours, but just because you become that man. That man who's feared, that man who you're suspicious of, you can't trust the intentions of. That man who just appears scary, creepy. And what do we do with that fact? In 2007, we asked me and my group of uh, action heroes and volunteers that I'll introduce in a bit. We asked women online and on the streets of Bangalore, what is that one thing they don't leave home without? The results are right before you. We have a pepper spray, we have a red chili powder, an insect spray even, hair pin. All of this wasn't done to create a list of suggestions at all. It was in fact to draw attention to the fact that women and girls experience fear on the streets of their very own cities. It was 2003. I was in my final year at art school at Srishti Institute of Art and Design. It, I was also new to a city, and I realized that somewhere my body language had changed. I walked as if I had this invisible armor around me. My fist was always clenched, and I had this very angry expression most of the time. And I didn't want to be that way. I would discuss experiences of being groped and molested on the streets of Bangalore with my peers, but to my disappointment, I would get answers such as, how come it's happening only to you? Or men are like that only, or yes, it happens, and there's nothing we could do about it. Somehow addressing this felt urgent, and realizing that there was just so many women experiencing this, my, my greatest, uh, deepest question at that point was that, why is it that we don't do anything about it? Um, so I, at that time, I got all the girl students from campus into a classroom, and what you see here was created in less than three minutes. The word public space was proposed, and in less than three minutes, we had only negative associations, or largely negative associations with the term public space. Words such as fear, feeling sick in words, um, not wanting to be seen, anger, claustrophobic emerged. This process led to a three-month period of workshops. Out of the 60 who, were, who made this mind map, about nine were willing to take this conversation forward. The workshops happened intimacy. It was an intimate space. Uh, narratives were exchanged. Insights were built. And then I graduated. But then I was left with these two questions, and these two questions felt urgent. One being, if so many women and girls have experienced different forms of sexual violence, street sexual harassment, and other spaces too, why don't we speak about it? And secondly, how do we as a society move towards collective responsibility and collective ownership for what really is a societal issue and not only a woman's issue? This led to Blank Noise. Blank Noise is a volunteer-led or an action hero-led community Action heroes are citizens and individuals from across India and across other countries too, who unite to eradicate sexual and gender-based violence. Projects are participatory and are designed to evoke empathy, to build trust, to arrest attitudes of victim blame, and most importantly, to tackle the fear-based relationship that women and girls have been taught to have with their cities. Blank Noise builds testimonies of sexual violence and then disperses them back to the public. All of Blank Noise is built by the lived experiences of its very own action heroes. Action hero Yamini. Um, I'll just take you through some of the work that the action heroes have been doing. This is Action Hero Yamini. Action heroes, like I said, they pledge to be visible, they pledge to occupy, they pledge to fight fear. 
action hero Sanjana and along with other action heroes in other cities take on public spaces where they appear idle there. And we learn to unlearn fear through this process. What does it take for an action hero or an individual who's been brought up in an environment of warnings like most of us to suddenly lean back, make eye contact with passers-by? What does that do to the nature of the action hero? What does that do to the nature of the place? Action heroes like to ask, what if? What if the streets were filled with women? Not anxious, not running home, but just being idle, being relaxed, and learning to do that. Action heroes have also been investing in building trust more than building fear in an environment of constant signs that tell us to be defensive, that tell us to carry pepper spray, and to learn martial arts. What can we do towards building trust? The fact that there are more of us walking in fear of each other than with the actual intention to harm each other. So action heroes initiate a conversation on trust by actually taking a nap and being defenseless and lying asleep in public parks. And it's very, very difficult to do that. But it starts that conversation with trust. Talking of trust and wanting to address fear, we're often taught to fear. We're taught to, and we're taught through a lot of misinformed biases. We're taught whom to fear, what socioeconomic per category that person comes from, and it's a it's a wide spectrum of misinformed biases. So in, through this project, talk to me. Action heroes invite a stranger to a conversation for one hour over tea and samosas. They talk about anything except sexual violence. And yes, through that process, they enter a conversation, they experience discomfort, they are misinformed about each other, but through that conversation, they build connection. And when they build connection, they build empathy. I will leave you with this thought and ask you to take it with you. I urge you to think of the smallest, tiniest step that you can take in your own capacity to build a safe space. You, as that stranger on the street. Because in taking agency, and the fact that each of us have the ability to take agency, we're building safe spaces. Thank you.